everybody to another great episode of Real Life Matters. Of course, I'm your host, D-Boss, and I'm just welcoming everybody who has been supporting me through all the seasons and here on TV, Support Care Vision, Bell 5, Channel 658, all the other sponsors that I deal with, uh, Vance Media, Come Clean Empire, uh, Exquisite, WLGRO, there's so many, Mix Mafia, Come, you know, I have, um, I said it, Big Man Entertainment, I'm just, uh, you know, I mean, if I missed anybody, I'm sorry, but we, you know, I, I really support all these people that have supported me and I know there's more to come. So anyways, I have a very special guest here today for you all, and he's going to tell us about all the big things he's doing. He's really busy, really, 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 really big. So, you know, and he's going to, you know, tell us who he is to you guys who, who maybe don't know him, but everybody else knows him, but maybe people out there that don't. So with no other further ado, I introduce to you Zayski Alize, and he's the CEO of Beats, Beatman Inter Entertainment. But I'll guess if he'll, come, he'll tell us what it is. So with no other further ado, I introduce to you Zayski Alize. Hello, how y'all doing? This is Zaysky Alize, and uh, I'm the CEO of Beat Accountants. You know, so uh, I'm a Beat uh, Accountants. Beat Beat Accountants. <laughs> well, that's a different name. That's different. Yeah, and uh, I've do a lot of production for a lot of people like uh, the Own Network, Oprah Winfrey, uh, Doctor Field, Doctor Oz, uh, movie soundtracks. Uh, uh, uh song i'm a singer producer writer Ooh. um and i've uh did work with i discovered lupe uh fiasco lupe with, yeah if you heard of lupe fiasco i was mm -hmm. on the gun got uh top guns to bring him to the table and get him in some deals uh his first deal with epic uh with my partners and uh I moved on to do stuff with like Scarface for Rap a Lot Records, uh, a Kushi Conflict that was with Palace and Universal. Um, I did a lot of local local uh, talent, helped a lot of people uh, really do their major move in Chicago. So it was, you know, I did. I was just always in the background. I didn't even want to do be on the forefront or in the spotlight. Yeah. So, <laughs> and I had a friend. His name was uh, Kevin Black, and he was like the vice president uh, at Warner Brothers. And he was like, Zay, why you don't never, you got all this talent, you can sing, you can write, you can produce, you mix, you master. Why can't you just do something for yourself? You're always putting people in front of you. Why you don't want to do nothing for yourself? So I said, okay, Kevin, I'm going I'm to I'm take a shot at it. And, you know, I always sing, featured and singing on rappers and stuff, songs. So, let me just put out an album and I had, and I, what I want to do is have a feel good album. So I had put out an album called Belly Game. And uh, well, we're going to dissect you down, but we're just going to stop one moment. Okay. So we can breathe. <laughs> 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 because there's so much to take in of yeah. you. Yeah. And it's, it's not a bad thing, it's to say you do a lot of things and you have a journey. Uh -huh. And so, can you tell first everybody where you come from? Well, I come from Chicago. Okay. I come from Chicago, the west side of Chicago. Uh, I was, uh, my father was a preacher. Mm. Uh, I was born and raised in, uh, in church. And so, you know, I got, that's where I got my talent from, up under, from my father, showing us how to sing and play in the church, uh, every instrument that possibly could be played. And that's how I got it coming from the west side of Chicago. All right. So how did you come up with your name, Zesky Alize? Okay. My name is Albert, but, you know. Oh. And, and <laughs> That's a cold different, call, isn't it? Uh, my first name, so they called me Big Al. You know what I'm mm. saying? So I, was, I, I was like in high school, and as I wrote, they was like, he real smooth. He, he real smooth and funny. And, you know, they was like, man, uh, Man, you can't be the guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you sing, man, you have to have, to have a, if you sing it like that, you have to have a smooth name. And at the time, they had a, a drink called Alizé. 
you know, I don't know if it's still making. Yes, it. yeah, well, everybody knows it's those like, drinks. Man, <laughs> smooth like you like smooth like a chaser, and Tupac be wrapped about it smooth in the chaser. So they're like, your name should be Alize. So the, the neighborhood kind of gave me the name Alize, uh, Big Al Alize. So I was like, okay, now you know when they start calling me Alize, they start calling me Zay. And then uh, one of my friends. When you passed away, you used to call me Zayski. You know what I'm saying? For short, Alize Zayski. And so he like, man, you should be Zayski Alize. So like I just took on the name and adopted it for myself. And, and I did it like that. Wow. So <laughs> it's so different from your real name. You know, <laughs> like uh, wow. So you have your name. <laughs> I'm just like Zayski. I'm not thinking of your real name. I'm like, oh my gosh, this isn't even. <laughs> but I guess that's what you've been doing. So how long have you been in the industry? Oh, I've been in the industry for like 25 years. Wow. 25 years I've been in the industry uh, uh, professionally wise, professionally wise, 25 years. So yeah, it's, it, it's, it's been an up and down road. And, you know, I just stay focused and uh, keep the drive. And, uh, you know, I'm... I'm just always a person that want to finish things. I always want to be a finisher. Okay. So you did some music. Mm -hmm. So what instruments do you play? Everything? Almost everything. Congos, drums, <laughs> lead guitar, bass guitar, uh, organ, piano. Uh, I even blow a little saxophone every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Father, well, I guess you got that from your church days where you had to step into things. Yeah, or step in. My sisters and brothers, we all play instruments. So we was like the the uh the ghetto Jackson Five in on the west side of Chicago. We sung <laughs> for the mayor and everything, been on the news, we, the whole family. All we had to do is school, uh practice, homework, chores, and go to bed. <laughs> wow. My father's so so tell us about this, uh, you know, your album there, your album that you have that's getting out, Belly Gang. Yes, Belly you Gang. You said it's a lot. It's a different, it's a different, it says R&B, hip hop, Afro pop. Wow. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, you know, I've, uh, this all, by me uh, in my producer years, I've, I've been around all type of uh, genres of music. Mm -hmm. and, you know, my father used to let me hear all type of different type of music, and I kind of fell in love with the the uh, different styles of music. And and what I want to always do is like, man, what if I can fuse this with this? And I start fusing the music, and I started and I created my own sound. So when I created my own sound, I just started mastering it, you know, and mastering. It. And I say, okay, I want to put this on somebody and let somebody that's well known to start off with it, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm like, man, maybe I have to come and create it because, you know, people have different visions. So I'm like, let me try to uh, at least start this 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 dynasty of music <laughs> and just, I just went forth with it and kept at it. Well, the mission behind your album is to bring people together. That's yeah. the... Yeah, it's a love... It's a love comic album. It's like it's so soulful and loving. It's, it's, it's all about goodness, not, you know what I'm saying, turmoil or uh, tragedy or anything. Just, uh, you know, right now I feel like because of the COVID and everything that's been going on around this world, I want to try to do something that, man, uh, and just to, just to support the women, our women, you know, as, you know, just in this world as our women, because, like, they, they're very strong. They're very strong, and they took, I think they took the forefront of being more stronger than men right now. So I just want to serenade them and let them know how much I appreciate women, you know. So, all right. But um, so tell us about what inspired you behind "Feel It, Kill It." Uh, like I said before, it's like it was just so much stuff going on on the news and wars and all the stuff, and you know, sometimes we just need a relief. We just need a break from all that. And you know what I'm saying? So everybody wants to dance. You know, dancing and listening to music. It like, you know, say music comes to savage beats. 
So it's like I just want to do and have something that everybody can uh, participate in and it feel good and just have a good sound song where everybody can party, want to dance and shake it a little bit. Do what they got to do, what they got to do, right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what about, so what about, so I'm going to play this song. You could do, is it just you singing it or you have yeah. some people in it too? No, it's just me. It's me. Oh. Oh, okay. Man. All right. Well, this will be your time to sing it. We're going to play it, Feel It, Kill It by Zaski Alize. So here we go. They say like, man, what made you do that? You know, so I just, you know, by me just listening to all type of music. I love all type of music: jazz, uh, pop, hip hop, R and B, uh, samba music. I love every, you know, so I love music. You know, drum patterns and all that. So that's what make me just dive in and just creates create the movement that I need to create. Wow. Well, I like it. I like it. So most of the music is um like almost like that kind of genre mix, or is it yeah. a different album? Yeah. So I'm like you know I took me. I you know I made me a part of it. Like I I adopted the sounds and whatever, and took it all and made me a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Took what I have to bring to the table with it and and mixed it up and like just mixed the gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we saw the singing and the musician, you know, people go listen to the album, buy it where, you know, on where you got to buy it. But now talk about, now you're the CEO of Beta. Beta Counting. Yeah, Beta Counting. So how did you come up with that name, Beta? Um, 
like the beat, you know, everybody you make the beat, but you know, I was more of a uh make the beat and uh uh uh, uh more of a accounting part, like the technical part of it, uh where I could take uh any type of artist, any artist, and I uh like master my skill that I can I can make them sound wonderful. Like I can the worst singer, I can make them sound like incredible, you know what I'm saying? In the in the in the background files mixing and mastering and tweaking and everything. And I just kind of really did that. Like that was my like my uh pet peeve to just make somebody that, that don't sound good sound amazing. Wow. That's a big mandate. Yeah. But I I, I, I I like the challenge. I like the challenge. Well, it's good. And so so that's your that's your label. So you have yeah. artists, it's artists a, and people underneath that that label label. No, it's a production company slash production. Yeah, yeah. So okay. I'm kind of the first head runner of the, uh, the label, you know, label part of it, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just kick it off with me, you know? Okay. All right. So, so what, tell us everybody, what, what are you doing? What do you do for the own network? That's the Oprah Winfrey network because they call me here. I didn't call myself Tiff. They call me the Oprah of Canada, Oprah of the North. Oh, they call you the Oprah of Canada? Well, yes, they do. That's big. That's big. That's well, I'd like one day to meet, to meet Oprah. I know her. But I... I was, so, yeah, what happened with that was I had a uh, a friend that was in this uh, group that was on BET. Uh, his name was John Wayne. And uh, he didn't know how to produ uh, 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 produce at the time. He was in an R&B group and called Quiet Storm. Uh, and he was like, man, and I did their first album, and they uh, made it all the way to BET, 106 in Park. Uh, they did a you know a nice album, and I produced it. And he got I, he said I motivated him to do music for himself. So he had uh, start he started getting some stuff, uh, some placements uh, with Harpo Studios, and he's like, Alize, uh it'll be like an honor just to put you in. And he gave me the opportunity to. Uh, uh, do it, you know. It's some some more producers, and you know, I just took, I just wanted my name to be a part attached to that, you know. So, and that's how I got uh, in with Oprah, and not knowing that uh, the other producers, she picked a few of their stuff, and uh, she picked like eleven to thirteen of my beats. Wow! And, and now it's just has been uh, gigantic and just amazing just to have her in my credentials you know like uh she put me in so much stuff it's uh amazing so i i, I appreciate that opportunity right that's how i did that wow so you have a show that's you have is your beats are in the show or do you have a show you have a show here because i have a little bit of a trail or promo like i have my beats are in in the shows like uh the scoring of it of okay. the, like Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, uh, okay. uh, in movies, sitcom movies, anything like that. She has something to do. They, uh, use, they use my, uh, my music a lot. Wow. So like all overseas and, uh, the old, uh, they put my music in that too. So they, you know, it's part of the production. So they, for different scenes, they use my music. So that's, that's a blessing, you know, just to get that, to keep going and, and, and so I can thrive and, and, and move forward further in my career. Maybe I gotta get you to create something for me. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. So you oh, my I cousin got you. did my beat for my my first song. He did a lot for the uh, housewives and stuff, and he he did that a few years ago. Okay. So I said, well, maybe I gotta get something a little more dynamic. That, that oh, song can, is good. We can do it. We can do it. I'm. I'm here. <laughs> We can do it. I, I'll make sure I put that on my list. Right. Okay. Well, hello? Hello? Yes. I'm here. Uh, you're, you're frozen. Your screen is frozen. 
Well, we'll just take a minute. Okay. Of course, it's it. Yeah, it was just a little, just a little glitch. I don't know what happened, but anyways, yeah. we're, we're here. We're back, everybody. I'm back here with Ziski, Alize. You know, okay. things, things just go on here. That's how sometimes things happen. So <laughs> we just have to um, take it as it goes. So thanks for the technology. So you've done that. So um, in this promo that we have here, what's this? What? Just tell us a little bit. We're and we'll play it. What it's about. Uh, it's, it's, it's just saying that it's on all digital and uh, uh, music outlets, all platforms. Okay. YouTube, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Tilda, uh, I mean, Tidal, uh, uh, everything, Audio Mac, everything, SoundCloud is everywhere. It's like on everything. You Google it, you Google it up, you're going to find me, you know. Uh, okay, I'm so down. let me let me just play this here, and we'll come right back. Well, hold on, I'm gonna play. And you did an awesome job. Um, that I I was listening to, I was like, wow, this is I love the beat. So it's like a fusion of like Afro Caribbean and like R and B, and like I'm missing something here. <laughs> what else? I, I just made it a more of a commercial sound, you know, by me producing so many artists. I just made it more of a commercial for people to. It's a feel good song. It's a feel good mm -hmm. song. Everybody just want to get up and dance and you know do their thing, you know. So it's that's pretty yeah. much. I just really want to be more Afrobeat popish. Mm -hmm. So Caribbean with the Caribbean, you know, it's, it's everybody want to go. To, everybody want to go on the boat cruises, <laughs> be on the beach, and just dance. You know, just feel good about yourself. Be the count. Be the count. Be the count. Be the count. Baby, won't you shake that body? <laughs> wow! I, I want to hear the shake of body now, too. <laughs> you gave us a little taste. Yeah, the video is real crazy. It's, it's, it's grown and sexy. It's grown and sexy. It's not too flirtatious, but it's nice. It's just right. Just and you right. got a lot of, and you got the pink in there. Yeah, yeah, I, lo I love that. You know, I just that's. That was they was asking me what kind of color did I want to use, and I was like, more pink, red, and purple, different type of colors. You know, I want to be a, I want it to be real colorful. You know, so. So you were on on you were interviewing her, or was she interviewing you? She was interviewing me. That was a TV network and uh, like all the cable stations in New York, all of uh, the Bork barrels. Okay. So they, like she. Uh, she was interviewing me, and she was so excited about the music. They like uh, just to see me to do that type of music, that single, you know, feel it, kill it, feel it, kill it. I'm telling you, woo. I okay. So I'm, you know, I'm just so it's just so admirable of you that you have so many different dimensions of you. Yeah. To make up you yeah and you've worked with so many people names that it's just not you know just name calling or dropping names these are people yeah. that you've actually worked with yes 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 so yes. who who would you like to work with that you haven't worked with um right now who i would want to work with it would be Wiz kid okay Wiz kid i would i would love to work with him uh Rihanna, I would love to work with her. Uh, Drake, Drake, mm -hmm. and and uh, Beyonce. You know, they they like you know those are people that I really would want to do some music with. You know what I'm saying? Because I know it'd be real big. So I think that that collaboration would be crazy, mad crazy. It would. <laughs> yeah. It would be. Yeah. So um. So, have you done acting? Uh, a little bit. I, right now, I'm uh, playing, uh, trying out for a part for a movie. Right now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, made I hit on all your secrets there. <laughs> uh, 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 soon to come, I'm uh, I'm playing a kingpin in a in a, in a, a, a kind of gangster movie. So, I'm uh, I'm. It's not uh, solidified yet. It's just I'm just trying out this 
for the part and they loved it. Just because they seen the Philly Killing video, they want me to come aboard and, and uh, play that part. So we still at the table with that right now. Woo! <laughs> I can smell the money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's I'm gonna ask this something. So what's the most craziest thing that's happened to you? You could say one or two things while doing anything. Uh the craziest thing I can say is <laughs> I, like I, 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 I had an opportunity a long time ago, and you know, I'm a uh a great basketball fan of uh magic johnson and i oh. met him i met him in person at uh uh our kelly studio our okay. kelly was doing, he was doing a, a song on avant at the time avant and uh and we was we had just got the deal with epic for lupe and them and uh and i met him he had uh our kelly was doing a song for avant and uh I, uh, I stepped out of the, we, we pulled in the studio and I stepped out and I seen this tall man get out of a big excursion. excursion. I was like, I'm like, man. And I turned around, I looked up and it was like uh, Magic Johnson. I was like, wow, you know, <laughs> I didn't know Magic Johnson was that tall. I didn't, I, ne I, I always heard stories about him. I didn't know he was that tall and I'm looking up to him and he was, uh, excursion is a big truck. In order for him to be standing taller than the truck, I was like, oh my God, this man is tall. Oh. So that was like one of the wildest things that I, I've been Well, talking. imagine if you saw Shaq. Oh my God, that'd be crazy. You know, we look so tiny, you know, to some of these guys. They look like, you know, you're like, geez, well, I guess my mother didn't feed me enough, or, you know, I'm tall. But, yeah. you know, you see some of these people that's like these, I was saying the other day, I saw a little kid and I thought he was about seven or eight. And he says, no, he's about uh, four or five. And I said, what? Is that tall? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's got to be in the food. <laughs> it's in the food. I, I was just like, it's in the food. <laughs> it's in the food. You know, like I used to play basketball. I guess we would, I would be playing guard or something. Point guard. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. So, do you work with the um anybody in in the um you know the NBA or the you know CFL? Oh, uh, not, not at this time. Not really. No. Uh, okay. I had an opportunity uh a while, like in my young years to do something with uh, mm -hmm. Twiz Twism Records with Shaquille O'Neal. He had his own record label, but. Mm -hmm. uh, I had an opportunity. I, it just didn't go fall through. But you know, we can always revisit that when I get when he hear Philly kill it. <laughs> so, do you sleep <laughs> because he's so busy? <sighs> I would not lie to you. Ever since I've been doing this campaign with the album and releasing the single, I'm a workaholic. I am a workaholic, and um, you know, now I really see from an artist's perspective of okay. how you have to really work and grind just to get this thing up and going. Like, you know, you just can't sit around and wait for opportunity to come knock on your door. You have to go and get it. You got to go reach out and grab it. And, and you got to take it by the hand and keep running with it, you know? So have you worked, I see that you worked with um, Fred Hammond. No, this is one of my idols. That's one oh, of my your idols. idols. Yeah, that's one of my idols, friend Fred. These these are the people that's I uh idolize uh Fred Hammond, uh uh the Winans, uh man, they just was a Fred Hammond, he looks like my brother. Yeah. Yeah, and it, well a little bit well he wasn't when he, now he lost a bit of weight. So uh he looks like so people will walk up to him on the street to your friend, he says, No, I'm not. <laughs> and actually, actually <laughs> We have a we have a even though Fred's from uh he's from Chicago but he moved he's in uh I think Texas somewhere mm -hmm. but uh he actually shopped at the same place I shopped for my clothes 
my clothing, you know. Wow. Uh, and he was in there, and I didn't want to uh, be on no starstruck, so I just let him <laughs> shop or whatever. And I was like, I knew who he was, and I was waiting for the owner uh, to introduce me to him, but he he didn't, so I just, just kept shopping. I'm going to say, hi. I've seen him perform at some places, and he just is just amazing, alive, he's, you know. He's amazing. He's amazing. It's just, you know, how he can move the audience just like that. He's amazing. He's a real, you know. Uh, so, so that's your, 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 yeah, I said, you said you grew up in church and stuff. So, does your, does your family and them support you now because you're kind of in, in, in all of this and you're out of it? Yeah. You know, uh, my mom, she loves everything. My father, he passed, uh, years ago, but okay. My mom, you know, she loves just me. Just, I could be doing something else, you know, I could be doing something that I had no business else doing. So, uh, she just loved the thought that I love music and, and, and she's like, that's my gift. You know, mm -hmm. my mom's a sweet, loving person. And she, she really, as long as she, that it makes me happy, she supports me, my family supports me and whatever I do, you know, they just love me doing music, you know, and I, 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 I first thing I give everything to God. Yes. Out of my life, you know, so I just, you know, I just, I gave him his, I give him everything first, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't, you know, when I go to church, I play the, I play the organ for my church still till this day. Wow, every, the organ every Sunday, every Sunday. So I play, I play the organ. I'm the DJ of the church. I go you to bring, you play the keyboard. You're playing the organ. God. Yes, I play the organ <laughs> for my church every Sunday. So it's like I still give God everything, you know. Okay. My all, you know. I'm still in church. I'm still doing. It uh music you know and everybody supports me in what i do wow okay well i'm telling you we got hey we got through it too <laughs> yeah yeah and i know there's more to come of you and when that movie comes up you gotta come back on before <laughs> it's gonna be the last time we're seeing uh zayski alizé we're yeah. not gonna it's not gonna be the last time we're seeing him so do you have any shout outs to give to people I want to shout out to my uh, my dear friend, uh, Busted Loose Clothing, uh, Ra. I want to give a shout out to Biggs, uh, Come Clean, uh, Ghost, uh, Chill. I want to give a shout out to and, and my man Shondell, uh that's been pushing me so hard in Chicago, like all on the radio. He's just been pushing me so hard. He's giving uh, billboards and everything, me being charted. I'm charted. I just wanted to show love to everybody that gave me love, you know, uh, my family, my son, my wife, uh, everything, you know, um, uh, it's so many names. I couldn't even, I couldn't even say I mean, And they're not going to hold you to you. Just say, I'm sorry if I forgot anybody, but you're yeah, in I'm there. sorry <laughs> if I forgot anybody, but y'all know who y'all are, you know, and, uh, much love, you know, to my man. It's gonna be so funny how people be paying attention. You know, I do so many of these yeah. things. Well, you didn't shout me out, you know, people. <laughs> no, I, like, I, they, I don't shout on nobody, but uh, these people know they're more vital to me, and they, they're uh, really uh, a good piece of my right. life. You know, uh, to my man Jackpot, man Jackpot, I love that guy. You know, he helps me. Uh, Bobby Ambrose. Well, I can't say no many names, but y'all know. Who y'all are to me, Marcy? Projects, you know, man. <laughs> if I if I keep thinking, I'll just keep saying more and more. You keep and thinking, well, it's okay. That's all the what you hear me saying. All the radio stations, everybody. Uh, that's it, you know. And thank you, the boss. Like I thank you for just having me to give me this opportunity to even mm -hmm. come on your show and and give a little bit of what I got, you know. And, Boy, a little bit. Boy, we got everybody got a learning lesson, mouthful, earful, faceful, all of it, but it was all good. <laughs> yeah. So just stick around. So just, you know, you just don't don't hang up um, when you come out. Just stick around. But anyways, just tell everybody where if they want to reach out to you, Zayski Alize, where they can find you on social media. Okay, you can reach me at Zayski Alize, Z A E S K E E. Spade, uh, uh, A L A Z A E, Zay Galazay on every platform, every platform, like 
Wow. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You, you know, you can Google me. You'll find everything. Uh, I'll send a link uh, through here so you can reach me for the boss if she wants to uh, post it up or whatever. But yes. you can find me anywhere. It's HD Alize, Spotify, all digital down. Those. Well, people are going to be reaching out to you, I'm telling you, since I how important you are. <laughs> if you want some good sound of music, want some production, come to be the counties. Right. So they got to come down there or you'll come to them, I guess, if depending. I'll come to them or whatever we need to do, we'll work it out and make it happen. All right. Well, I'm telling you, Zinsky Alize, it was been a pleasure. Oh, my gosh, everybody's just, you know, all the viewers at home tonight have just was like, wow, my gosh, this is, you know, I, I get a few of you guys all rounded entertainers and all rounded producers and, you know, but this one was, woo. Oh, was I, can't forget this. I can't forget this. Elevated, this is, this is my clothing line too. Elevated Ooh. for society, so. Shout out to my partner Heavy. Just oh, they're both of them, both of the top and the and the, is from from both the places. Yes, yes. And, yes. and I see and I, and look, um, the plaque on the back. Where's that from? Oh, that's uh, like I said, I give God everything. That's my gospel album. That's the gospel album that I put out a few years ago. So I got a plaque for that, uh, a streaming plaque. So. Yeah, I'm. I'm still I was, I was telling them people if you could have brought it off the wall, but he said it's a bit heavy. Yeah, so. I don't want to. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I, it, it, it's hard to pick it back, put it back up there. So uh -uh. <laughs> you got to take a you got to take a five or a two fives. <laughs> yeah, you see, I got my printer and some some clothing right there in case it falls. I don't want to break it. Wow. Yeah. Well, as long as you got it up there. Lodge it's my music. I'm just I'm in my studio, so when I play the music, it vibrates everything. So you know. Oh, okay. So I don't want to break my plaque, so I'll, that's why I got it like that. And you can't and you can't move the the table then. Yeah, I don't want to move the table, so I can break his fall. So you know, I don't want to break the glass. It's a glass, and it's real. You know, some of them be plastic, but this is real glass in there. So it's right, right, right. So that's that's good but anyways i do want to thank everybody and just stick around uh zaski alizé and uh and so everybody so good night you can say good night bye for now good night good night and